Okay, we will open up the questions to the right over here, Bill. No. JT. JT. Yes. Um, can you describe what this last week has been like for this team and, and how necessary this kind of performance was? Um, yeah, so one of the main things is uh, intent focus, getting back to what we do fundamentally. Uh, our culture of 4 6 8 B plus 2, uh, better of excellence and power unit, get back to those things. And, um, you know, and I think uh, just focus, make sure you do a little detail, cover all our bases uh, when it comes to practice. Far left over here, Ari, JT, you guys always celebrate the wins and that beating Michigan State the way you guys just did, I'm assuming it's a gratifying feeling, but mm -hmm. is there ever a time or in retrospect, you think, man, what if things were gone differently a week before after winning a game like that, being controlled big time? Yeah, I mean, we can't we go back in the past, of course. So, I mean, we try to just move on, uh, learn from things, learn from losses, and I think that's what we did today. We move from it, you know, that we performed what we did today. In front of our right, Tim? JT, from your vantage point, what did you see the offensive line getting done in front of you guys today? And describe their performance. Yeah, offensive line, I mean, you play like that, it's really uh, makes my job a whole lot easier. I think one of the main things for them is uh, changing the line of scrimmage. Uh, I mean, those linebackers, they usually shoot the gap in Michigan State, so it's hard uh, to get double teams on those guys with being that. Uh, they're getting so much push off the ball uh, with the deep linemen. Uh, it was a great thing for them, so they let the backers, you know, instead of on a line of scrimmage, they're down. Uh, three yards downfield, and then our running backs did a great job of making that uh, unblocked defender miss and uh, got some big hits. Over to the left. No, okay, over to the right here, Austin. <laughs> JT, Mike Lovers did, you know, got some criticism that people say he doesn't have that home run speed. To see the two that he hit today from your vantage point, is this just a matter of him getting healthy, or does it, does it mean more for you guys as teammates to see him hit some of those? I mean, yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really hear that, but um, we know what he can do. I mean, he's done in practice. Uh, he's better than, we, than where he was at uh, last year. Uh, ben, uh, this is his uh, second year plan. Uh, and I mean, we know that he's able to do that, so uh, it wasn't a thing, really. Over to the far left, Doug. JT, in 2015, you guys lost to Michigan State and then went up to Michigan the next week and ran the ball in one day. You yep. ran the ball today and one day after a loss. Is there something about a loss that gets you guys really dedicated to the run game and being physical? Um, I think, you know, it's like time. Uh, I don't know, I feel like after a loss, you want to get back to what you're good at and uh, establishing a run game uh, definitely helps out with you know, who we are, flash and pass, uh, making our shots down the field. So just getting back who you are, uh, whether it be fundamentals and even when it comes to uh, offensively and defensively, making calls and things like that. So all that intertwines. Great, JT, thank you very much. Well, folks in the